Hey, hey, so in this video, we are going to go over this mean reversion trading algorithm that we've been building here on YouTube, and it's doing pretty well. Uh, some up days, some down days, but what I want to do in this video is, number one, go over the results we're seeing thus far, and then number two, I want to make the bot better by making some changes that we kind of come up here with in this video. So. The first thing we want to do is I want to look at this kind of PL curve and you can see it's, it's kind of it has, has down days, has up days. So for example, this is the last 30 days or so. Uh, the first day up 4.22 and second day down 0.92, then up 184 and then down 4.75 and then up 0.62 and so on and so on. So what I want to do is try to smoothen this out a bit. And the way I'm gonna do this is, I'm gonna overfit it, obviously, but hey, it might work in the future. So it looks like 828, and by the way, all of this code is available inside of the bootcamp, there's a link for that below. But at 828, big loss, essentially I wanna see where my big loss days were. Like this is a big win, uh, this was probably the biggest win on 815, but 828 and 820, if we can remove those two days, I think this would be much better. And then 8-4. 8-20, 8-28, 8, 8-20, and 8-4 are the biggest down days. And then maybe 8-9 would be another down day. If we can remove these four down days, then this would be really good. By the way, this is my market maker running down at the bottom right. And it's done pretty well. We just went over the results of one of the last videos, 13% in the last two weeks, which is dope. Um, but obviously that's not gonna predict future results. Uh, so we wanna keep working on it, right? So if we can remove these three days, can we, can we remove these three days somehow? And the first thing I'm thinking is we can make a max low to high. So in our market maker, we actually don't trade some of the days. And if we could do the same thing with this mean reversion, that might help. So let's check it one more time. 828, 820, I want 8.9 in there too. Because if I can remove all four of those days, that would be awesome. And then keep the rest of the days. And let's see if we can kind of overfit this to do that. So first off, 828 is 828, okay. So how big is this bar here on 828? So the bar is 506. You can hear the bot making orders. I'm just gonna mute this for now. So 828 was a 500 size bar, but it, we took a large loss in comparison to our account. So 828, let's say the range was 505. Let's see what the range was on 820. Or I, I think we can actually look at this here. 828, the range, the low to high, okay, so negative 481. And if we look at 820, interesting. Interesting we didn't lose on 819. But I think this is UTC while this is East Coast. So this could be actually 819. Let's go ahead and say this, the, the change here was up to 559. 559 and then on 84 what was going on there okay so big wicks I think that could be tricky to trade but again let's see that's eight that's 972 so this is 932 that's interesting though minus 932. This is 799. 
And then 828, what was 828? That was that, 799. So I think we could make a pretty simple rule here that will say pretty much don't trade if, if it's over a certain amount, right? So I think I can implement that pretty quickly too. So I might just go ahead and do that in this video. Let's see what 8.9 looked like. 8.9 here, also a fairly large bar day, let's say 800. So what I wanna do is implement of 500 so let's do a max low to high of 500 and let's just look at our other code here that does that so max low to high right here let's go ahead and put that as a variable max low to high oh actually you know what i want to do i want to make a new a new one let's call this um well i actually might have a August here. Let's call this a 30 mean reversion with low to high, low to high 500. Okay, let's paste that all in. And then let's use the low to high that we have here of 500. And maybe that will help things work a little better. So we'll keep that running for now. Put the low to high right here and then let's figure out how we implement this so let's go find okay so if low to high is that so we need all of this information so we need to do it after the bars probably phoenix dot fetch open ho high low open high low open DF equals, okay, open the data frame. Is this it? For X in positions, kill switch. Okay, so active positions DF, We're almost there. So open positions DF. So we need to get the low to high. Looks like this bot over here has a couple bugs going on, which is interesting. It's still doing well based off of even with these internet problems. Essentially what's happening, I think, is a rate limit. I might just go ahead and say this. Let's go ahead and just take all of this code here and essentially this is gonna get the bars. Actually, I think I can copy all of this now that I think about it. Okay, let's copy that and let's put that. put it in the open orders so open orders if not and no tra trading false okay so I see the logic now essentially I say if no trading equals false then we'll go ahead and do the actual orders so let's go ahead and find where we make the orders here it said if signal is buy okay let's see if we make them anywhere else just in case okay so I think I'm just gonna put it right here and say that probably don't need frame data bars equal number of bars so do we have number of bars we don't but let's just say 180 I think 180 times 5 is 15 hours so limit is 97 97 times okay so this wouldn't trade let's say max low to high limit max 
low high limit and this will essentially say hey we're only going to trade if if it's within this limit and we'll say 60 bars because 60 times 15 is about 15 hours so let's take this variable and let's bring it all the way down here to where we were putting in this and let's put it here so now it will make a data frame and I think this is gonna do it so now it's gonna say no trading so we want to say something like this you can see over here on the right side I want to take this and say if signal equals that and no trading equals false or if signal equals that and no trading equals false then we'll actually trade it super interesting here that this is showing an internet problem I think it's the rate limit still but I think this is good so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pause this spot and we're gonna run this one again and now it's only gonna trade if it has no trading as false which is good so it's only gonna open new orders and I can write that down up here I'm gonna say uh, today's update can we remove these three days so 8.30 update and then I can go ahead and say we're done we did this so that's great this should do better let's watch this for the next couple weeks if you do want to see the results over the next couple weeks just comment results below and as you saw you can see the PL curve it's doing doing pretty good um, well it's kind of up and down and if we can remove these days it's going to do much better but all the code is inside of the boot camp there's a link for that below and you can also communicate with me and everybody else in the private community that you get access to uh, through that link as well it's pretty much step by step everything I wish I would have known when I got started I will show you I'll just make it much easier for you so there's a link for that below and all of this code is there and the code for the market maker on the right so appreciate your time today make sure to hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss anything and I will see you in the next video